How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 3, Episode 14, the penultimate episode of the show, which is titled Flash Strike. But yeah, last episode we saw the boys, which include Vampire, Echo, Vecca, Hunter and Crosshair infiltrating a facility orbiting Coruscant so they can find or get onto a ship that is going to Tandas. They found out that they couldn't exactly just track where the ship's going because the coordinates weren't given to the ship until after they were in hyperspace. So what they had to do is connect to the ship, magnetize to the ship, but in order to do that they needed Echo or someone to infiltrate the ship to turn off the proximity sensors. And we succeeded. Hunter grew some fucking balls and stuck to the ship and the plan was a success. They're on the ship, they're heading for Tantus. However, they've got Vampire with them. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck he's going to do and how he's going to help the crew, but I'm hoping he comes to the good side in some kind of capacity. We just have to see. And then we also had a little bit of Omega in the episode where we've seen her kind of just bond with the kids a little bit and she's planning an escape that involves going into one of the walls, taking off the tiles, going up, and there's like a giant shaft that potentially leads throughout the facility. And she almost got caught by one of the scientists, a new scientist that's just kind of showed up, and she seems to be potentially a thorn in Omega's side and Emery's side. She seems to be questioning Emery quite a bit, which makes sense. I mean, she was probably following... Um, orders from someone else and then Emery was sent down and Emery seems to be connected to the kids a little bit and is being a bit conflicted. I don't really know what her name is so I keep calling her the, the other scientist but she's going to be a problem, definitely. But yeah, Omega managed to fix the tiles because the tiles kind of fell off the wall and she fixed them all before she was spotted and now she's got a way out or a way to potentially get out because we don't know where it leads. It could lead to somewhere else entirely. But yeah, finally the Bad Batch are heading to Tantas. I'm a bit worried for Echo because he's still on board the ship. Well, I guess technically everyone's on board the ship in a way, if you think about it. Something bad's definitely going to happen once they get to Tantas because we've got two episodes of this. But yeah, I'm definitely hoping next episode is an extended episode because it kind of has to be, you know, like this episode being shorter, last episode being pretty short too. This one needs to be, or the next one needs to be a big one, right? I'm also a little bit annoyed that they've not done two episodes this week. Like, it'd be cool if we got episode 14 and 15, just like last season. Which might add on to the theory that next episode could be extended. But yeah, I'm super excited to get into this episode. And a little bit worried, because you don't know what's going to happen. Like, they're on Tantus, or they're about to get onto Tantus. I, I just, I don't see this ending happily. <laughs> and there's still a lot that needs to happen, too. Yeah, that basically sums it all up. So let's stop do allying around with this shitty intro and get right into the fucking episode. Hmm. See what I mean? Music starts playing before the intro is done. <laughs> Wait, how are they not upside down? How does that work? Because it showed Hunter upside down before. <laughs> How's Echo gonna get off that ship? You'll find a way. Just take the outfit. Why won't you take the outfit? Use it. Jesus. Clone Force 99 infiltrated the orbital station with former Vice Admiral Rampart. They fled aboard a stolen shuttle when the science vessel departed. Mm. They could be tracking it. Shit. They figured it out. <laughs> well, they've made it to Tantas. Multiple fighters in battle. Yep. They're expecting us. I love how that it's basically TIE fighters. Not quite yet, but it's just about there. Lock down the base. Neutralize the threat commander. Activate laser cannons. Is that Scorch? Oh, they're getting shot down. Yep. 
Laser cannons. There is a base wide security alert. Monitor the children in my absence. You're concerned for this. <gasps> what the fuck was that side eye? Who is she? Like, she just showed up last episode. Get rid of it, dude. They found me. Who? My brothers. Mm. It's still annoying, though. All it took was to get Vampire. You could have just done that from the beginning. I understand why Crosshair didn't want to do that, but come on. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, plain chicken. There's no time to land. Wrecker. <laughs> We've got a crash. Why have they got vampire here? Like, what's vampire gonna do? <laughs> Other than die. <laughs> Wait, where's Echo though? Echo's still on board the ship. Oof. That voice acting did, that was great. <laughs> I'm fucking screams. They have the entire ship searched and the crew scanned. No one leaves that hangar without authorization. Echo's still on board though. Yes, take it! That's what I've been saying. He needs to cover that. Step aside. This cargo must be offloaded at once. We're here to search this vessel and check everyone's clearance. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Where's Vampire? It's not a place you forget. He need... you come on. Here once. At least this time you're breaking in. I'd rather not do either. <laughs> I owe her. Hmm. Oh, oh no. He found us. Did, uh, Where's Vampire? Did make it? Unfortunately, yes. Huh? I heard that. <laughs> if you had any common sense, you wouldn't have come here. We'll take our chances. Incoming. Damn, Hunter heard that coming before anyone else. Obviously, heightened senses, right? There's no one aboard. Is that Scorch? The jungle. I think Scorch is on this ship. That's Scorch, right? Where's Wolf? <laughs> You're not authorized to be here. This area is under my jurisdiction. What is going on here? <laughs> Nice stealth. <laughs> Take his arm or something. Yeah. Thanks for the hand. <laughs> it still doesn't look right though, obviously. But at least it's less noticeable. Why would you do that? I'd feel like they'd notice someone else as a part of their patrol. <laughs> I need to scout out what's going on. And this is my best chance. If something happens and I'm not back in time, cover me. How? You'll think of something. Yeah, but what if sh she comes down again, the scientist? I guess she's not looking. She'll still, like, question where Omega is, though. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> there, there's no way they're gonna get out of this, like, unscathed. <laughs> you fall behind, you get left behind. You used to believe good soldiers followed orders. Depends on who's giving them. Mm. You're like me. Loyal to no one but yourself. I've changed. Ooh, you could change too, Vampire. Sure you have. Okay, well that's a bit boring. Like, she could get crushed in her. Like, she has to time it so well. I mean, I guess... Not really crushed, but she could get stuck 100%. Shut up, the fuck? <laughs> Stop pushing it! Ground Take your time. Scouring the area. You dumbass. Down. Yep. It's like the bear thing, isn't it? Oh god. That thing's fucking massive! No. no. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what the plan there was. I mean, they're still making a lot of noise. Look out. 
Did it knock him out? He's vulnerable now. Like that arm has weakened. Did you hear that? <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to hear it. See, they found them anyway, it didn't matter. I love how Crosshair is the only one that cares. Dead. Who found him? Uh oh. Surprised it just didn't shoot him. Omega's the second room, right? Yeah, third room, I think. I'm still hungry. It will pass. <laughs> is that it? She's still in there. The thing is though, she doesn't even know what's going on. She hasn't even got out yet. Oh. Zillow Beast. Okay, we need to use that to escape. Run a diagnostic on SP-54. She's still in there. Omega, you have to get back. Oh God. You appear to be fine. From now on, monitor more closely. I mean, there's no way she's gonna make it back. Um, I go next. Wait your turn. Did she make it? How the fuck did she do that? How did she do that? Especially like putting the plates back in to the wall and stuff. Yeah, all them clones. Oh. Emily. Troopers are not allowed in here. It's a uh, special security patrol. <laughs> He's a great liar. I think she knows. Echo. Oh. That's your name, isn't it? Omega told us about you too. We're here for all the prisoners you've been experimenting on. Mm. I was doing my job. Yeah. Just following orders. How can you be part of this? Tell me where she is. She's in the vault. If we're gonna free those children, you're going to have to trust me. Children? What children? Omega's not the only child confined inside this base. Hmm. There might even be more, to be honest. You don't know what else they've got in here. We haven't seen the full base yet. That's an interesting shot. That the focus was on Omega, but it was, like, interestingly done. Big. Yeah, something very big. I have the plan. And I'm gonna need your help. Dying it, you fucks. Oh. I like, at least Dave Filoni gave us a... Even though he's not involved with the show, he gave us a nice... breather before he hit us with the... Bleh. Wait. Isn't this a clone for him? I genuinely feel next episode needs to be like an hour long. There's no way, because, like, we need to bring in Wolf, we've got CX2, the Zilla Beast stuff, we've got to escape Tantus. Potential deaths, obviously that's always got to be on the table. Finish off Hemlock, what's going to happen to Vampart? Because Vampart's been captured now, so much needs to happen. Next episode, I think, is probably going to be like 40 minutes, it has to be. Well, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm going to say. <laughs> Another solid episode. Now, obviously, it's better than, like, the last two in terms of, like, story developments, but it's clearly a part one of two. Is next episode going to be extended on? I, I feel like it has to be. There is no way they'll be able to wrap up the story in 20 minutes. Too much needs to happen, and, like, you have to think of Clone Wars, right? Clone Wars had four episodes, so that was about, like, an hour, a little over an hour, to wrap up its story arc and stories, because it was the Siege of Mandalore arc, right? But Bad Batch in reality has only had, like, this episode and next episode to wrap up the story. And it would make sense the last episode of this show is extended just like the first episode of this show. The first episode of season one was an hour long. The final episode, an hour long. But if it isn't, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well and doesn't feel extremely rushed. Because right now I see Omega freeing the Zilla Beast. The Zilla Beast obviously escapes, right? starts destroying the base, gets bigger, and then during that distraction and during that, like, escape, the Bad Batch rescue Omega, they free the other clones, 
But then you've got to add in, like, CX2. Like, I guess Hemlock would wake him up. Like, wouldn't the Emperor come to Tantus to try and stop certain things happening? You've got Scorch, you've got Wolf. Like, Vex has to be involved somehow. Because, like, Vex's whole journey was finding Tantus, right? So they must have to signal something. Because how are they going to get all the clones out? I guess just take one big ship, right? But thankfully, you know, we've got Emery on our side now. Because Echo managed to convince her. I'm glad we finally got that out of it. Because that's what the last, like, two episodes were doing, right? We were establishing that Emery is having concerns about the kids, right? And she's definitely conflicted about that. And now we use Echo to bring her to the good side. However, in traditional Clone Wars slash Bad Batch fashion, I don't think we're going to get a happy ending in terms of everyone making it out. You know, I could see Vampart being killed. I could see Hemlock maybe being killed. Emery more than likely will die. And one of the Bad Batch will die. It's either going to be Vecca or Crosshair. Because Crosshair's had the most, like, development. Or it could be Echo, actually. Because Echo is the last character from the Rookies episode, right? Because you had Fies, Heavy, um, Echo, obviously... And the others, right? Echo's had a decent amount of development. He's more involved in this final arc than last season. And even like the beginning of this season, he wasn't that involved in the story. But now he's suddenly, he's on Tantus, he's in the facility. You know, something bad's going to happen to him. But yeah, I mean, outside of like what needs to happen next episode and what should happen next episode, this episode was pretty solid. A vampire running around like a buffoon, <laughs> screaming, is amazing. Just that, like, like he's cons he's so like reserved most of the time, and now he's just screaming, <laughs> like, because he's never been like on the field, right? He's always been like an officer, so he's always been giving the commands and not really been on foot, like with the soldiers. And now that he's with the soldiers, he's just screaming, running around, scared shitless, and now he's been caught. I'll have to see how that goes, though, because, like, Hemlock now interacting with Vampire is going to be interesting, which, funnily enough, is something I kind of brought up. The old villain would face the new villain. Vampire would face Hemlock and maybe beat him. I, I do think Vampire's going to change, right? Like, the Empire betrayed him. Like, Crosshair pointed that out. And Crosshair also pointed out that he's changed. Now, the question is, has Vampire changed? Maybe Vampire doesn't believe Crosshair's changed because he hasn't changed. Yeah, it's interesting that they brought the bear thing back. Like, I don't think it was killed in, uh, was it episode 3 that it showed up, right? So, that's cool. Vampire just laying on it. Like, the moment I saw, like, the back of it, or, like, behind Vampire, you could tell it was a creature. You could see, like, the, the chunkiness of that thigh, you know? Like, that shit was gonna wake up and munch someone. However, I don't understand what the plan there was. Like, yeah, let's just slowly back up and not just run. Because <laughs> they just van anyway. And then Hunter was like, we don't shoot, don't shoot. Because if we shoot, they'll be alerted. But then they get alerted anyway. So it's just like, what? <laughs> also, it's cool that Echo has a new hand now. Because he definitely needed that, but his lying is terrible. Granted, he is part, like, machine, part man. But he can't lie for shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, just, uh, you know, I've took my hand off, I'm putting my hand back on, uh, I'm just here to do a maintenance check or whatever. I'm just here to check everything. Make sure it's all safe and secure. Also, how did Omega get back in? Like, that was wild. Like, she wasn't there, and it cut to her, like, crawling through the vents and stuff. And then suddenly she's there, she's put all the tiles back on. Like, Jesus. Not gonna lie, though, I did completely forget about the Zilla Beast. Like, it's been a while. I mean, it's at least been a whole season plus a year on top of that, right? That's kind of why I forgot about it. And it's just weird because it didn't really play any big role throughout this season. You know, it was like Project Necromancer, but nothing else came out of that Zilla Beast stuff until now. Which is interesting, like, how are they using the Zilla Beast? Like, maybe using its, like... Like, how fast it, like, evolves and changes. Maybe they use that for the specimens. Or specimen. I do wonder if we'll find out what the specimen is. We have to. Like, someone has to infiltrate and figure it out, right? Maybe it could be Vampire. 
Vampart needs to pull his weight. He's probably gonna die, but he needs to pull his weight. <laughs> Unless Vampart can be... Ooh. What... Uh, well, I mean, I was gonna say, what if Vampart could, like, tell the Empire that Hemlock is trying to go against the Emperor or something like that? And then maybe Vampart can earn himself back into the Empire, but then that wouldn't make sense, because... If they were going to do something with that storyline, it'd be very um, rehashed from Rebels. Because Rebels had Callus, right? I don't think that would work. But it also wouldn't work because we're not getting Bad Batch Season 4. So there's no reason to make Vampire good and make him like a spy from the inside. Because it just wouldn't work. But yeah, I, just don't, I, I also just don't see that happening this early into the Empire's reign. You know? Like having a spy already would be kind of weird. Like it's definitely possible but like i said if it's just rehashing the callous stuff it, i don't know it just wouldn't feel very original like we're still like year one right this is still set within like a, at least a year and a half from like bad batch season one episode one to now it's at least been like a year and a half i feel like because we're still that early on that there's no tie fires yet right they're still using like the republic gunships and stuff so I guess we'll just have to see when they bring in the TIE Fires. Actually, no, there was TIE Fires, wasn't there? I swear there was in, like, Season 2. I don't know, though. I, I swear, like, I remember a TIE Fire, but it might have just been them ships that they've been using, like, the V-Wing, right? That sounds like the TIE Fighter, like an early rendition of it. I do like that, though. Like, audio-wise, it's pretty cool that they just use, like, kind of the TIE Fighter noise, but it's slightly different. And it fundamentally is the same thing, right? Like... You've got, like, the cockpit in the middle, um, but instead of it just being, like, a ball, like, it's got an actual, like, nose to it, right? And then you've got, like, the two side wings, right? So, it's interesting. Like, it's just weird that we didn't have, like, the development of the TIE Fire come into fruition in some capacity. Which means it's very early on, because at least in year five, which is when Jedi Fallen Order is set, the TIE Fighters are around, you know? So the question is, like, when do they start, like, being produced? But as usual, the music was really good this episode. They did the same exact thing that I pointed out last episode, where instead of it being the traditional intro to the episode, where it does, like, the drums, the music changes as soon as the title drops. Because we're about to get into some serious shit now. But I'm so worried about what's going to happen next episode. Like, just because it, it is the final episode of the show, so, like, after next week, we're done, sadly. Um, but also, there's a chance of losing characters, too. Because, you know, there's no Bad Batch Season 4 happening, so, like, and they don't show up in Bebbles, and Vex doesn't mention them. Which is weird, because Vex does mention Cody. Like, it's just weird that they have Cody show up in Season 2, and then he doesn't come back. Yeah, that's enough of my rambling review. I'm super excited for next episode. But, like I said, very worried. Because it's either going to be rushed or it's not going to be rushed. I hope it's the latter. Because if it is rushed, then oof. God damn it, dude. Or maybe the story just doesn't end here in like some capacity. Like, Omega... Like, there's been set up with Omega and Ventress. So we'll have to see where that goes. But I don't know, like, so much needs to happen, and I just don't think we're going to get everything that we want from the episode, but it could still be a very good one. We just have to see. It is possible that they can do it all in 20 minutes, but I, I would prefer if it was like a 40 minute episode or something like that. Next week, the journey comes to an end. For better or worse, because it could be a happy ending... Or it could be a bad ending. I mean, it has to be... I think we'll get a bittersweet ending in the grand scheme of things. Because, okay, we're going to get Omega out. But maybe something's going to happen to a lot of the members of the Bad Batch. And then they just go into hiding. And then maybe that's a setup for another spin-off or something. Right? Like, one or two members of the Bad Batch could die. Then maybe Hunter and Omega go off. And whoever else go off to find, like, a place to hide. Or they go to Ventures. Which, like I said, it could be a setup for a spin-off like, called The Path. Right, Hunter and some other members of the Bad Batch, whoever survives next episode. Because I guarantee one of them will die next episode. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I, I, 
I just have a sensing feeling something bad is going to happen. I mean, that basically wraps up the shitty review. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you next week for the Bad Batch series finale. Ta-ta! And fair!